Hi everyone, welcome to another video at Tirefly Designs. Today we're working with the MFT Stamps card kit and it's called Sky High Friends and I love the adorable images and you, the kit comes with a bunch of stuff and I think it's all worth it. You have two stamp sets, two die, matching die sets and a paper pad and like 29 sheets of cardstock which I think is very good and they're good quality cardstock so um, here we go this is the first video and I hope you enjoy for the first card I started with this blue and white checkered paper from the paper pad and I'm using the tumble gas distress ink to kind of brighten up my sky a little I'm gonna create a sky scene Then I used the Stitch Cloud Edges die set to cut a couple clouds so I can add it to my sky. Then I load my clouds up with um, some foam adhesive to add some dimension. I wanted to add a sun to my scene so I removed my clouds and I used a double stitched circle stacks die set to cut a little circle um, it comes with two stitches at the edge of the circle and then I use my squeeze lemonade distress ink to kind of brighten up my sun a little With all the foam tape in the clouds, I thought my image needed to be a little more stable, 
so I add I cut another image in white cardstock so I could add it to the back of of it and then we're going to put our card together I added a sentiment that says our friendship is the best adventure from the stamp set and I add some foam tape to my image so that it can adhere over the clouds. Finally, we use um, the petite clouds die set to cut three of clouds, and I'm adding just three because I like to add odd numbers. And that's pretty much it for card number one. Card number two, I started with this pretty piece of cardstock and I'm going to make a slimline card. I used the Stitch Speech Bubble Edges die set to cut this speech bubble at the cloud. And then I'm also going to use the cloud die set that I used for the first card to add a few more clouds at the top. And of course, we're going to create another scene. Before I add my images, I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the clouds at the top and it says you're not alone and I have three images that will be added to the scene.
for this card I use the cute cloud outlines die set and it comes with the cloud in the center and an outline so I use both on the clouds and you see by the end of the card what I mean by the outline right here in the scene you're just seeing the inner cloud so I add this to another blue a darker blue cardstock base and as you can see the outlines are on the cloud and that's it for card number two for card number three I started with an older die set from MFT and um, it's the cloud cover-up I think it's called it's actually called cloud cover-up <laughs> so I cut it out with the same blue checkered paper and add it to a white piece of cardstock so that clouds can so show through and we're gonna add our image a sentiment and this one is pretty simple our friendship is the best adventure again and I actually emboss it with some white embossing powder on black cardstock Add my card front to a yellow card base and that's it for card number three for card number four I started with my trusty stitch clouds cloud edges die set again say that fast and I cut a bunch of clouds and my image is going to look like it's busting into the clouds I'm gonna add dimension with form adhesive and you see what I mean as I put it together?
once I have all my clouds where I want only them to be I add a Sun in the background and I add my image coming out from the clouds Then I add a card base to frame and the card front that matches the balloon and I add my sentiment that says hang in there, add everything to a white card base and that's it for card number four. For card number five, I had this piece of paper card stock sitting on my desk and it's from where I cut my son and I thought it looked like a stencil so and I love the image. So I tape it down to my piece of purple cardstock here and I'm using black soot distress ink to color those two areas, the two circle areas. And I'm going to make a mess at the end, but at the edges, but I will cut my paper down before I create my scene. I decided to create a Halloween scene with this card and it just brought it <laughs> something kind of funny to me that the witches don't always use brooms maybe they use balloons <laughs> so I used that um, witch wicked witch die from die versions and I just cut off the hat part. I cut it in black cardstock and gray cardstock. And I just needed the hat for my bears. So I cut the hat off and added it to my bears. I thought my background needed a little more so I covered my image and I used the Mr. Hughes Shine spray to add some drops, some shimmer drops and used the spiderweb stamp set from MFT to add the sentiment Happy Halloween and that's it for card number 5 and thank you guys for watching the first 5 cards I'll have a, another video in a few to show the next five cards I made and a bonus let me know in the comment section which one of your first five is your favorite and I'll see you in a bit for the next video and thank you for watching bye